Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm Matt Baskey with Mitsubishi Electric Automation. In today's quick tip, we're going to talk about efficiency, specifically looking at reducing time while creating and editing G-code programs on your CNC. Now I know what some of you are thinking. I create all my programs in my CAM system, so this doesn't apply to me. Well, stay tuned because I think this tip might even benefit you guys as well. Let me first start off by stating that this does not apply to all of the Mitsubishi Electric M8 series of CNCs. This will only apply to CNCs with this operation panel. You want to make sure that your operation panel has the U1 through U4 buttons. These four buttons are user-defined keys. That means that you, as the user, define what these buttons do. And as I alluded to before, they are specific to writing of the G-code programs. In a nutshell, you can define what characters get entered on the screen when pressing one of these buttons. Now, I know I said four buttons before, but if we look closely, you'll also see U5 to U8 in smaller writing. That means we can define up to eight different character strings U5 to U8 are activated by first pressing and releasing the shift button and then followed by the U1 to U4 buttons. So the question remains, how do we define these buttons? Well, that's easy as well. The buttons are defined by a program that resides on the CNC memory. More than likely, this program doesn't already exist on your CNC, so let's take a look at how to create it. If we navigate to the edit page, select edit at the bottom of the screen, then select Open New, we can define the program. Type in forward slash K-E-Y-D-E-F dot T-X-T and input. The program is now created and we just need to add some characters to get it working. Here is an example of the file and what it might look like. A few points to mention that you'll see. The first button, U1, is assigned to the zero line. U2 is the one line, U3 is the two line, and so on. Any characters inside of the brackets are the characters that will be entered on the screen when the button is pressed. Now let's test this new file and see how it can be used. As you can see, while inside of my program, using these new user-defined keys, I can quickly put in code that I would generally hand type into the beginning of my program. Remember when I said this would even benefit users with CAM-generated programs? Well, inside of my CAM program, the post may not write certain data that I need to add to the program specific to my machine or maybe the Mitsubishi Electric CNC. With this function, I can easily upload my programs to the CNC, open the program, and add the necessary characters very easily. And there you have it, an easy way to speed up the setup process on your machine. I left out a few details on this function that can be found in the M80 instruction manual. You'll find a link to this manual below. You can also find this manual on our website at us.mitsubishielectric.com forward slash fa forward slash en. Click on the knowledge base link and search up the M80 instruction manual. If you like this video and want to see more like this from us, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also visit our YouTube playlist for more quick tip videos on the Mitsubishi Electric CNC. And thanks for watching.